channel this is amber's world and if you're new here welcome 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 i'm so glad that you made it over here to this channel i'm so glad that you gave me a chance and if you are not new here and you're already part of my family welcome back so today i am here with a hair video but it's a very special hair video because i am doing a review it's been a while since i reviewed new products and i'm so excited to say that i have a very special package that came in um a few weeks ago actually it's been like two weeks or so um and i'm glad that i can finally uh review them because it is wash day y'all it is time to wash this hair so i am reviewing tap of the browns donna's recipe line her sweet potato pie line and um i'm just i'm over the moon i i cannot wait i hope that this is all the things that i've heard about it this video is not sponsored this is a raw um, review. I am not getting paid to use these products and then give rave reviews about it. This will be an honest take on how I feel about this product, how I feel about my hair after using these products. Because um, I know my hair pretty well at this point and so I will know very quickly if this stuff is the truth. So we're gonna see. Let me get into what I bought. I bought the um, Extra Creamy Moisturizing Conditioner along with the Extra Creamy Moisturizing Shampoo. I uh, got the Extra Creamy Leave-In Conditioner. I'm very curious to see how this is gonna work with my hair. And um, the Strength Hair Oil. So there's a lot to unpack here. I usually, I'm not even gonna lie, I hate doing videos like this because there's so much work because when on wash day, you just kinda wanna just do what you got to do and move forward, but I kind of can't do that. Um, I know I wouldn't be doing her justice if I didn't review this line. So before I even do all that, I'm going to wet my hair down and then detangle my hair using the TGIN Quench 3-in-1 Co-Wash Conditioner and Detangler. I love this product so much, y'all. Um... It's wonderful, it smells good, it makes my hair feel good, and it definitely preps my hair for a good wash. And then I'm gonna go in with Tabitha's shampoo um, while I'm in the, then I'm gonna go in with the conditioner. I'm gonna do my hair mask that I usually do. Um, and then after I do my hair mask and rinse that out, I then I'm going to style my hair using her extra creamy leave-in conditioner. I didn't get her styler because I don't use stylers. Usually I can get the look that I'm looking for just using leave-in conditioner and oil alone. So I'm really hoping that this does not disappoint me. I'm very sensitive about my leave-in conditioners. I, I'm just very sensitive about the products that I put in my hair all together. But I, I feel confident about this. I feel very confident. So y'all, let's get into it. this like I detangled my whole head today in like 15 minutes maybe I'm just a little bit more energized I have been lately paying a little bit extra attention to my health so I'll just blame it on that but either way it's time y'all to head to the sink so I can get this shampoo on my head and see what this was really about I do shampoo my hair in twists now I find it so much easier and faster. I'm gonna rinse out this co-wash conditioner and detangler out of my head, and then I'm gonna go straight in with this shampoo. Y'all, let's get into it.
back from washing our hair with Donna's Sweet Potato Pie Extra Creamy Moisturizing Shampoo. This one right here. And y'all, it actually smells like sweet potato pie. Like, it, but it's not a strong smell. It's not a strong perfumey smell. Like it really does smell like a delicious slice of sweet potato pie. I can't lie, I am a fan of shampoos that have a nice aroma because we all want our hair to smell good, right? It definitely has a very airy sweet potato pie smell to it. It's not like boom, sweet potato pie. Like it smells actually really delicious. Um, a little goes a long way with this shampoo. Um, the amount that I put on, I could have actually used a little less. Um, and the lather was so nice and it's not stripping. It's very moisturizing. My hair feels really, really good. Um, so far, I'm very impressed. I was really scared to get into this because, you know, we're all sensitive about the shampoos and conditioners that we use in our hair. So, so far, it's really good. It gave me a really good clean. It gave me a really good clean and... Um, I don't know. I'm really, I'm, I'm excited. I, I feel pretty hopeful about the rest of this um, line. Like, next, we're going to get into the conditioner real quick. I'm going to put this in my hair. Let's see what, they, what it says. It says, after shampooing, smooth the conditioner down your hair, concentrating on the ends, rinse out. Yes, very good. Lock in moisture with our locker LCO system. So, I'm going to put this in my hair. Again, it has a very nice airy sweet potato pie smell to it. Love it a lot. Um, and I'm gonna just lather this all in my hair and I'm going to um, leave it in my hair for about five minutes. I think five minutes is pretty good. And then I'm going to rinse it out. So first impression, it feels really um, creamy and thick. I like thick. My hair loves thick products. Um, I appreciate it, but I like that it doesn't feel like foo foo the way Pattern Beauty's uh, conditioner was doing. But because yeah, I like that this has a nice balance. It's thick, but it's creamy. It's light, um, and it's not doing too much. I like how it feels. Um, again, a little goes a very long way with this conditioner. Um, I'm still gonna do my hair mask, but I wanted to make sure I really got a feel for this conditioner. So, you can never have too much moisture when you have four type hair. So, I'm really gonna make sure that my hair gets all the possible nutrients and uh, moisture that I can possibly get. All right, so I think my twists have been properly saturated with this conditioner. I'm going to go ahead and cover my hair. Of course, we old school here. I'm gonna cover it up with a grocery bag. And then um, I'll see you guys in five minutes and let you know how it feels after I rinse it out. All right, y'all, I heard y'all, I heard y'all. There's no way that five minutes is long enough for conditioners. So I'm gonna go ahead and wait another five minutes. That makes it 10 whole minutes for this conditioner to really sit in my hair and then I'll rinse it out. All right, let's go back. Okay, so after letting it sit, it feels so good, you guys. And I took my hair out of the twist temporarily. I'm gonna retwist this after I um, do my like hair mask, but initial feeling, it feels great. And I know that I can't really give a full review of how much I like this because you don't really see the effects of new hair products until after about four washes or so, um, as my mom has told me. So I'm just going off of my initial feel. Do I feel confident about using these products on my hair? And so far, absolutely. It smells great. It feels great. I couldn't emphasize enough how much it smells so good. I hope y'all like the smell of sweet potato pie because when I say this actually smells like sweet potato pie, oh my gosh, but it's so deliciously wonderful and moisturizing to my hair. Um I am I am thoroughly impressed. I like 
I like how this feels on my hair. My hair is definitely responding well to it. I mean, look at that. Like, nice and bouncy and moisturized. So I'm going to rinse this out, do my uh, hair mask, and then I'm going to go on to the next part, which is um, styling it with the leave-in conditioner. I'm going to comb through my hair with a leave-in conditioner, retwist my hair, um, and then tomorrow when I take out my twists, I can then finish up my review for you guys and really tell you how the leave-in conditioner feels on my hair, how it's settled in my hair, and how my hair feels with a leave-in conditioner in my hair when it's dry. So let me go and rinse this out and I will see you guys when it is time to style my hair. Okay, so I just put the some leave-in conditioner on the first part of my hair um and it feels great still smells like um sweet potato pie um and as far as slip is concerned it's not bad not bad nice and moisturizing nice and bouncy um and this is also straight after my hair mask too and um yeah, I like it a lot. So far, so good. Of course, I won't be able to really tell how moisturizing this is until, um, you know, these twists dry and I can take them out and really see, you know, how moisturized my hair is and stuff. But really good slip. And um, it feel in texture, feels pretty thick it's not well super thick it's very more creamy than anything very creamy um I just love how this smells y'all if there's anything y'all gonna take away from this is that I love the smell of this particular leave-in conditioner so I'm gonna go ahead and continue to twist my hair with this leave-in conditioner and I will see you guys tomorrow all right y'all good morning well, good afternoon. I woke up really late this morning, but that's neither here nor there. <laughs> good morning, y'all. Um, the twists are dry and they're ready to be taken out. So let's just get into it and take them out and see how my hair feels. Now, don't go judging how I take out my twist, okay? The point is, as long as they come out. And you know, I'm not even going to take them all out on this video because ain't nobody got time for that. But. This is just one section and feeling this one section, it feels really good. It feels really good. Um, it doesn't feel dry, which is, you know, what we all like um, fear when, when we take out our styles. That's why I don't really like using creams and custards and gels and stuff for my hair because I don't like that crunchy I don't know for me that just equals more product buildup so I try to do what I can with my hair just using leave-in conditioner and oil um and speaking of leave-in conditioner and oil while we're at it so this leave-in conditioner tap of the brown tap of the brown auntie tab I have a few questions for you okay um how long did you expect this leave-in conditioner to last? Because you know the sisters, we use a lot of product for our hair, especially when our hair is longer. Like, I'm more ready to hear with the product. Like, so far, this much product has been used. I'm down to here now already. So did you expect me to really go every week to get a new bottle? Or are you going to come out with bigger sizes the girls want to know do you plan on coming out with bigger sizes of this leave-in conditioner because that's the shampoo and conditioner okay i can see that lasting for about four plus washes i'm not worried about the shampoo and conditioner but this leave-in though this ain't big enough boo boo this ain't big enough i'm telling you right now this is not a big enough size and with the amount of money that i would be spending to replenish this it wouldn't be worth it it's it's it might be a good product it may be a good product but like is it worth spending a hundred dollars a month for it <laughs> i wouldn't say so 
not for this size. You need a bigger size. I'm sure you're going to come out with a bigger size. I'm hoping and giving you the benefit of the doubt, Auntie Tab, that you're coming out with a bigger size. But that's that's a concern of mine. Another concern of mine, Auntie Tab, is um, did uh, these capitalistic dogs convince you to give us a bottle this size in oil, but only have your oil starting here? Because when I opened up this bottle of oil, here to here, there was nothing. The oil literally started like here. And that's a lot of oil to be missing from a bottle. So I don't know if it was just my bottle. Nothing leaked in the box. Nothing was leaking or bust open. Like nothing led me to indicate that there should have been more oil in here. But I don't know. But sure enough, I opened this thing up and the oil, the oil was literally like it didn't start until like here. That's a concern for me, Auntie Tab. You do know that the girls want all their money's worth for what they're spending for their products. When I get a product, I'm not saying it got to be filled to the brim, but it needs to it needs to be a full bottle of oil. This was not a full bottle of oil. The oil was good though. There's like 18 oils in this mug and my hair felt amazing. The peppermint oil was definitely working into my scalp, but yeah. Yeah. So these were my main two concerns, sizing and packaging. The packaging is cute. The smell is cute, all of that. But it's just like, I want all my money's worth. Those are my concerns. My only concerns about these products. Back to the twist. So again, it feels good. And I'm going to take out, I'm going to take out another one for you all. I'm going to take out one for y'all. See, look at that, like butter, like and the twist look good. By the way, y'all, this is not dandruff on my um, bathrobe. A whole bunch of lint got all over it. Okay, anyway, I felt the need to clarify that because I, I don't just, I don't want y'all to think that I'm dirty and I got dandruff. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Good stuff, good stuff. Like how the hair feels, I really truly do. Um, yeah. I like it. My hair feels great. My hair feels great. I'm curious as to how my hair is going to feel throughout the week as these twists continue to separate and my hair kind of starts to take shape. So y'all, that's my review. Um, I don't really have much to add. The shampoo, the conditioner, the leave-in, and the oil, they're all good products. I also got her Biotin hair gummies as well. I've been using these for a week before I even used her hair products. And my review on these is that um, they smell good. This is what they look like. And there was more in here. I just, I've been using some for a good solid week. A serving size is two gummies. They smell good. They do taste good. Um, it definitely tastes like strawberries. It smells like strawberries. Um, and do they work? I honestly can't tell you. I haven't been taking the gummies long enough to tell you if they do work or not. I really don't subscribe to the whole hair gummies thing. I think it's a gimmick in my honest opinion, but because it's Tabitha and I wanted to support her, I went ahead and got her little hair gummies too. Um, I'll use them all. And um, just to say that I got a well-rounded um, review of her collection, I did not get her stylers because again, I don't use stylers. It would just be sitting in here the whole time, not being used. So I only got the products that I knew I would use. So I hope that y'all aren't too mad at me for not reviewing the entire collection. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure that you like this video, you leave me a comment, and you also subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And uh, until next time, bye.